What's going on my fellow film fanatics and welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host Johnny Rogers and if you happen to be new here we cover all things television, movies and anything beyond the screen. So hit that subscribe button to join our notification squad and comment down below with what celebrity Twitter account is your favorite to follow. Also make sure you stay all the way until the end of this video because that's where we feature and answer some of your comments. Now without any further delay let's get right into today's list of the Top 10 Craziest Celebrity Twitter Meltdowns. So get your popcorn ready and let's just get into it. In at number 10, Amanda Bynes. We should have known back in 2010 when Amanda Bynes said that she was retiring from acting and then unretiring, then deleting her Twitter, that something was seriously wrong. After the Amanda show ended, she began behaving more and more erratically. She was in multiple car accidents, there was a noticeable altering of her appearance, and she was arrested for reckless endangerment after she threw a bong out of her apartment window in New York City. The real meltdown for all to see though was Bynes ranting on Twitter about how her father was abusive. Then immediately after, she followed that up with this. My dad never did any of those things, the microchip in my brain made me say those things, but he's the one that ordered them to microchip me. Um, okay. In at number 9, Tila Tequila. This celebrity quickly went from trying to find love on her reality show A Shot at Love with Tila Tequila to having her Twitter account shut down. For whatever reason, when Trump became president, Tila went full alt-right. Further than that actually, she went alt-right. She changed her Twitter cover photo to her standing next to Trump holding a gun with a swastika wrapped around her arm. In a series of anti-Semitic posts, Tila slowly destroyed whatever career in entertainment that she thought she had. From posting a photo giving the Sieg Heil to saying things like, actually I was Hitler in a past life. That is why I still have strong ties with him in this one. Hashtag twin flame. Her Twitter account is back up now, but all of her tweets are protected because much like her career, the public doesn't need to see that. In at number 8, Jim Carrey. Jim is without a doubt a comedic icon and he's a legend in the entertainment industry, but in 2010 he went a little off the rails when using Twitter. The same year that he broke up with his girlfriend Jenny McCarthy, he also tried to get the word boing to Trent. Yeah, for real, this actually happened. He said, and I quote, hashtag boing mother Hashtag boing motherfuckers. Hashtag boing, hashtag boing, and then he says that another eight times in the same tweet. He then went on a rant about people oppressing his art and said that they serve no purpose except to get in the way of those who bounce this big blue ball. What ball, Jim? What ball? The meltdown came all together after he posted that bizarre and now deleted video of him proposing to Emma Stone. Man. 2010 was a strange time. In at number 7, Shia LaBeouf. What began as a Twitter meltdown slowly started to bleed over into real life. In 2013, he tweeted out that his New Year's resolution for 2014 was to be less controversial. This however did not last very long and on January 21st and for 3 more days following that, he tweeted out, I am not famous anymore. Well, your IMDB page could have told us that, Shia. He continued on the meltdown when he appeared at the premiere of Lars von Trier's new film, Nymphomaniac. After claiming that his entire life was an art project, LaBeouf showed up on the red carpet, I'm just laughing my way through this, he showed up on the red carpet with a paper bag over his head that had the words I'm not famous anymore written in black marker. Apparently even if you're not famous anymore though, you can still show up to public events and do incredibly bizarre publicity stunts. And at number 6, Azalea Banks. This celebrity Twitter meltdown didn't only get her account suspended, but is probably the main reason why her career is kinda over. First, Banks noticed that One Direction member Zayn Malik's new music video was eerily similar to her Young Rapunzel song. So she put up an Instagram post with these side by side images and called him out for this. Zayn, I guess, didn't appreciate her not directing the message to his account and in turn started subtweeting about Azalea. This just twisted Banks into a downward spiral that she could not bounce back from whatsoever. And for whatever reason, her reply was filled with a rant containing a ton of racist and homophobic undertones, saying things like she was going to start calling him Punjab, which I, I didn't even think was an insult, but okay. And it didn't stop there either, she hit him with more tweets all attacking his culture and race that the internet absolutely lit her up for. The best was a reply from Jasmeet Singh, better known as Just Rain, who said, damn the word Punjab is an insult now, has anyone notified Urban Dictionary yet? <laughs> Just Rain coming in hot. In at number 5, Kanye West. I bet we could do an entire video of just the craziest Kanye West Twitter meltdown moments because believe me, there's been a lot. There was him saying that Bill Cosby was innocent, which we all now know that he's not, but perhaps the most bizarre meltdown was his mini feud with Drake. 
literally every minute he was tweeting something out starting with he running around like he pock and ending with Drake called trying to threaten me the whole world knows Kanye is a little crazy and honestly to make it as far as he has you gotta be a little bit wild but even things like his tweets about Trump look like a breakdown in his mental health I mean look at this tweet he said you don't have to agree with Trump but the mob can't make me not love him we are both dragon energy he is my brother I love love everyone. I don't agree with everything anyone does. That's what makes us individuals and we have the right to independent thought. You do have the right to independent thought, but some of them should stay off of Twitter, Kanye. In at number four, Elon Musk. Elon Musk does a lot of things simultaneously. He runs Tesla, SpaceX, and, and has been working with a number of other countries to help them switch to more renewable energy. The one place where he should not be though is Twitter. Elon's tweets have gotten him into more trouble than anything else that he's done in his illustrious career. Before he ever sparked up that joint on the Joe Rogan experience, Musk tweeted out this joke. Am considering taking Tesla private at $420, funding secured. This joke sent his investors into a meltdown of their own. Not only that, but Musk has gone on full-blown anti-media Twitter rants after a few newspapers criticized his business decisions. I guess that means that he's ready to be the president of the United States now. I mean, what else do you need? In at number three, Charlie Sheen. Charlie is the OG of Twitter meltdowns. He was melting down online before it was ever a trendy way to get mass attention. After setting a Guinness World Record for amassing a million followers in just over a day, Sheen was fired from Two and a Half Men. He then went on a Twitter rampage calling out the show and making phrases such as winning and tiger blood start trending all over the internet. I actually can't even find the original tweets anymore. Hopefully our editors are better at looking for them than I am. I just remember how crazy the hype around Charlie Sheen was at the time when he started tweeting this madness. He was definitely one of the first celebrities to ever have their tweets all over the news and anything anyone could ever talk about. In at number two, Roseanne Barr. Roseanne is a well-known stand-up comedian and at one time had a hit sitcom named after her. During her Twitter meltdown, Barr tweeted in reply to former Obama aide Valerie Jarrett that she looked like the child of a Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes. She was immediately called out for racism with the insinuation being that she was equating an African American woman to that of a monkey. which is incredibly racist. Barr attempted to defend her tweet by saying, Rod Sterling wrote Planet of the Apes. It was about anti-Semitism. That is why my tweet referred to the anti-Semitism of the Iran deal. Low IQ people can think whatever they want. The meltdown didn't stop there though. After ABC canceled the reboot of Roseanne, she then attributed her behavior to taking Ambien. Funny enough, the company that makes Ambien tweeted out a response as well. They said, people of all races, religions, and nationalities work at Sanofi every day to improve the lives of people around the world. While all pharmaceutical treatments have side effects, racism is not a known side effect of any Santa Fe medication. Imagine getting blasted on Twitter by a drug company. Welcome to the future, my friends. Last but not least in our number one spot, Donald Trump. You know we couldn't finish this list without talking about the biggest celebrity known for routinely melting down on Twitter. I'm sure he's doing it right now as I speak. Perhaps the most dangerous meltdown that Trump has ever had on Twitter though was his beef with North Korea. After Kim Jong Un started flexing his military strength too much, Trump hopped online and started name calling. At his first address to the United Nations, Trump referred to Kim as Rocket Man. Then on November 11, 2017, North Korea replied saying that his speech was made up of reckless remarks by an old lunatic. Trump not being able to take any criticism fired back with, why would Kim Jong Un insult me by calling me old when I would never call him short and fat? Oh well, I try so hard to be his friend and maybe someday that will happen. <laughs> Or you know, you'll say so much other stuff that the world will completely forget about this whole North Korean debacle. But he still is little rocket man. Now with that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Top 10 Actors Who Lost Everything Part 2. Aerie Spite says, cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> Indeed it is. Also, I wonder if you would consider this a spoiler for that video. Probably, right? You just spoiled the video. Fluffy Pink Chaos says, Seems like being in early movies and hit shows is a curse, one that either nobody wants to acknowledge, talk about, or has realized even. I think PewDiePie said it best, and I think what we need to do with all of these child stars is send them to the ranch. Jennifer Simpson says, Taxes, as soon as you make your first million as a celebrity, it should come with an automatic text that says, don't forget to pay your taxes. This is actually super smart and should be emailed to the IRS. Get on that. 
Radical Rainbow says, Whoopi Goldberg for Ghost, she should have got the Oscar for the color purple. No? The second thing you think of when you hear the name Pamela Anderson is not Baywatch. Yeah, she should have definitely gotten an Oscar for that, I agree. And well, I suppose it's the first thing that came to my mind when I think of Pamela Anderson, but I want to know, what comes to your mind when you hear the name Pamela Anderson? Please leave me a comment down below. This should get interesting. And if anyone puts Hep C, I'm coming for you. Endless says, epically awesome. No, you. And that has been the top 10 craziest celebrity Twitter meltdowns. Thank you for watching Top 10 Beyond the Screen. If you enjoyed this video, then show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you give us a follow on Instagram for tons of behind the scenes content. Links for that will be in the description below. And while you're there, why don't you leave us a comment with your thoughts on this list. Plus, for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is tap that playlist when it comes up. From Beyond the Screen, my name is Johnny Rogers. Until next time, stay classy. It's a It's a It's a Yeah, that one's fun. Stumbled my way through that. Let's just do that last line again. <clears throat> What's going on my fellow film fanatics and welcome to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host Johnny Rogers and if you happen to be new here we cover all things television, movies and anything beyond the screen. So tap that subscribe button to join our notification squad and leave us a comment down below with what celebrity Twitter account is your favorite to follow. Also make sure you stay all the way until the end of this video because that's where we feature and answer some of your comments. Some nice and some not so nice. Now without any further delay let's get right into today's list of the top 10 craziest celebrity Twitter meltdowns part 2. In at number 10, Chris Brown. Following a traffic accident where Chris Brown was accused by another driver of a hit and run, Brown decided his next best move was to defend himself on Twitter. First he says, it's not a hit and run if you get out of the car, exchange information who has no damage to either cars, this is really ridiculous. He then continues his Twitter meltdown by adding, I have a valid driver's license and I gave the woman the right info. She saw cameras and wanted to make a scene. Yes, because I'm sure that was her first thought after you rammed into her with your car. He then goes on to tweet again saying, she contacted the cops thinking of a payday from Chris Brown when I followed the proper procedures. I love that he starts speaking in the third person. That's how you know the wheels have truly come off. Also, he put that poor woman's license plate as his Twitter profile pic for a little while because, you know, doxing people really helps your case. Don't worry Chris, we all know that even after you hit someone, your fans will still think you're innocent. In at number 9, Bow Wow. Not to go back to Chris Brown again, but it was Lil Bow Wow that threw him under the bus with this tweet. Bow Wow says, I'm f***ed up, oh damn, why I drive the Lambo? Chris might have to drive after next spot. Eh, not so sure he should be your first pick. Maybe call a taxi? You know, like a normal person would. But Bow Wow is literally tweeting out how he was about to drive drunk on his Twitter feed. I mean, what a time to be alive. I miss when he was just Lil Bow Wow from Like Mike. Now, clearly this did not come without backlash and soon we had a hungover Bow Wow tweeting his regrets. Apologize for that tweet, it was stupid and immature. Not a way I want to kick my hashtag 2010 year off. I got too much good stuff lined up, my bad. You know what, good on him. The last thing we would have wanted was him messing up his chances at starring in the movie Lottery Ticket. In at number 8, Perez Hilton. The queen of all media himself had a crazy Twitter meltdown back in 2009 when he got into a bit of a scuffle with Black Eyed Peas member Will I Am. Yo, that's Perez! That's Perez! Perez Hilton, being his usual disruptive self, decided to take a moment to cuss out Will I Am and say some pretty nasty stuff to him. He then started tweeting, I was assaulted by Will I Am of the Black Eyed Peas and his security guards. I am bleeding. Please, I need to file a police report. No joke. Okay, well, Perez, if someone assaults you and you're bleeding, common sense would dictate that you would, oh, I don't know, call 911. You can't rant on Twitter and hope that the local authorities are going to see it and hit up your mentions. What universe is this guy living in? I mean, Will even got involved and made a video in response to what Perez had been tweeting about, and I mean, he should thank him for that. It's the most cloudy he's gotten in a while. I hit you, Perez? Come on, dude. I didn't hit you. I told you that 
I didn't like the fact that you disrespected us. And at number seven, Cher. Okay, serious question. Does anyone know who Cher is? I mean, she is really showing how out of touch she is with her constant Twitter meltdowns and odd use of emojis as punctuation. I'm sure she's very talented to have gotten that little blue check mark, but one thing's for sure, she definitely doesn't know how Twitter works. She tweets out random things that look like if a pocket dial was a tweet, and sometimes she just says hi. And other times she just tells her fans about her technology freezing up because she's too much of a diva. Share if you're having issues with your iPad, you need to go to the Apple Store. My favorite meltdown moment though was when she had to defend her tweets about Senator Ted Cruz. She says, sorry, had a meeting. Didn't need to know that. Regarding all caps on tweets about Ted Cruz, they weren't excitement, they were anger. Okay, well, Maybe if you had used more emojis, we would have known that. Come on, Cher. In at number six, Gary Busey. Gary is an actual nut job. That being said, he was a very prolific actor. He's appeared in over 150 films, such as Lethal Weapon, Predator 2, and Point Break. So in other words, he was big in the 90s. Now, with the age of the internet, Busey is trying to hang on to the times and stay relevant. Although, much like Cher, no one really understands what he's tweeting about. Thankfully, he's been sober for years now, but still, when you read these tweets, you gotta wonder, is he really sober? I mean, look at this tweet. Who invented the balloon? I don't know, Gary. Google it. Here's another great one. When you go to which mountain, don't fall in love. Okay. <laughs> Bit of a cautionary tale, I guess. That's kind of helpful. Here's another one. If you have to fart, fart quickly, but keep your energy up. Buseyism for fart, feeling erectile transmission. Okay, Gary, that's enough for one day. Oh, oh, oh wait, Whoa, we got one more. I'm a cartoon that talks. Sure you are, Gary. Okay, now back to your padded cell. The doctor will be with you shortly. In at number five, Ted Nugent. AKA Uncle Ted, he initially became a celebrity when he was the lead guitarist for the Amboy Dukes. If you don't know that band, well, it's because they originally formed in 1963 and mainly played psychedelic rock. So at 71 years old, people hardly remember that's why he became a celebrity. Now he's mostly known for being a wild old nut that's a very conservative online. The Nuge really started to show his true colors after President Obama took office. This drove the Motor City madman insane, leading to this celebrity Twitter meltdown moment. He starts by saying, so Obama still demands the hardest workers provide for the non-workers? Shared opportunities, my ass. He then two minutes later says, what subhuman varmint believes others must pay for their obesity, booze, cell phones, birth control, abortions, and lives? Varmint? Varmint Ted? Your southern side is really showing. He caps it all off with another tweet saying, good luck America, you just voted for economic and spiritual suicide soulless fools. Wild stuff, and for whatever reason, I can't take someone seriously that makes that many spelling mistakes. Sorry, Nuge. In at number four, Courtney Love. Speaking of taking things too far on Twitter, Courtney Love is the prime example of this. She is truly off her rocker. I guess Lana Del Rey had done a cover of Nirvana's Heart Shaped Box, and Courtney wanted to set the record straight, even though no one asked her to. First of all, she at mentions both Lana and Brian Adams before saying, Brian, has anyone told Lana what Heart Shaped Box is about? At Lana Del Rey again, you do know the song is about my vagina, right? Throw down your umbilical noose so I can climb right back? Um, um is right. That is probably the craziest thing that I've ever heard. But wait, let's not forget there is one last Twitter meltdown moment where she says, so um, next time you sing it, think about my vagina, will you? Lol, what is wrong with her? Who says that? Like, think about my, good, Courtney, no, just no. Someone take her off Twitter now. In at number three, Kevin Smith. After being kicked off of a Southwest Airlines flight, Kevin Smith went on an absolute Twitter tirade, which is really the only way to sum up what it was. Kevin tweeted out, Dear at Southwest Air, I know I'm fat, but was Captain Laysath really justified in throwing me off of a flight for which I was already seated? Come on, Kev. No one could possibly throw you. This tweet forced the airline into apology mode because, well, Kevin Smith has a ton of followers, so when he tweets something out like that, you can be damn sure Southwest was getting a lot of angry mob mentality tweets sent their way. Smith went on to say things like, wanna tell me I'm too wide for the sky? Totally cool, but fair warning folks, if you look like me, you may be ejected from Southwest. Now, I'm not defending Southwest Airlines booking guidelines for, as they say, customers of size, which outlines that if you can't lower both arms Armrest when seated, you gotta go. I'm purely pointing out that maybe this wasn't the best way to handle the situation on both ends. In at number two, Alec Baldwin. I feel like I already trashed 
Alec Baldwin pretty hard on a different video, but hey, who says I can't do it again? I mean, he keeps saying crazy stuff on Twitter, so what's stopping me? Much like Kevin Smith, Alec too has had his fair share of troubling experiences while flying. He tweets out first, flight attendant on American reamed me out for playing words with friends while we sat at the gate not moving. Hashtag no wonder American Air is bankrupt. I love when people do massive hashtags like that. Like who do you think is searching for that tag? He goes on to say, United Airlines should buy words with friends, but oddly 30 Rock plays in flight on American. Then in another tweet he says, hashtag there's always United, last flight with American, where retired Catholic school gym teachers from the 1950s find jobs as flight attendants. That is so specific. Why Alec, just why? Okay, 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 okay. One last Twitter meltdown for Alec Baldwin. Now on the three o'clock American flight, the flight attendants already look smarter. Um, I thought you just said that this was the last time you fly with American and now he's back on the flight. I, I don't even know. On to the next one. Last but not least in our number one spot, Miley Cyrus. It's been a long time since Miley Cyrus was with Disney and ever since becoming a pop star in her own right, she has been adamant about proving her lack of innocence. Again, nobody asked for this. She says, I lost a massive Walmart deal at 17 for ripping a bong. Then she just goes off in her own replies like, when did Twitter turn into celebrities confessing their sins? Like, go to church for that. She then adds, I got kicked off of Hotel Transylvania for buying Liam a p cake for his birthday and l***ing it. Um, alrighty then. I swung on a wrecking ball naked. <laughs> okay. And one last one because there's so many to choose from. There are probably more nudes of me on the internet than maybe any woman in history. Well, that morphed into a humble brag real quick. With that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Top 10 Movies That Took Years To Make. Mark says, I basically just watched for Johnny's bloopers at the end. I just made three bloopers trying to read your comments, so I'm happy that someone can laugh at my failures. Natalie Bouchard says, Really well researched, Johnny. Great video. Thank you, Natalie. I really appreciate the kind words. James T says, I was so looking forward to this video, but then I see it was being hosted by Johnny I Suck Rogers. So now the video gets a dislike and this comment because honestly, Johnny needs to be fired from top 10, anything, even top 5. Not on top five, but okay. I don't know, I didn't even know my middle name was I suck. Also bro, you don't need to tell us if you're disliking the video. I will literally lose zero sleep over your opinions. Yet because you're so fired up, it looks like I'm living rent free in your head. Remember James, a lion never loses sleep over the opinions of sheep. Michelle Carter says, Kenny Rogers is your dad? <laughs> No, 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 that was a joke. My last name isn't even Rogers. Lori Oglesby says, so is Johnny over here exclusively now? Miss him on the other channels, but glad he found his happy place. Johnny, you really have a good knack at reporting and you make it interesting and relatable. They love me, they really, really love me. <laughs> I'll be over on Beyond the Screen for as long as they'll have me. Although if you wanna see more from me, go over to Inform Overload. I just did a couple of videos for them, so. They should be coming up soon. And that has been the Top 10 Craziest Celebrity Twitter Meltdowns Part 2. Thank you for watching Top 10 Beyond the Screen. If you enjoyed this video, then show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you give us a follow on Instagram for tons of behind the scenes content. Links for that will be in the description below. And while you're there, why don't you leave us a comment with your thoughts on this video. Plus, to get me to shut up and to watch another video from us, just wait until that playlist pops up on the screen and tap it quick. From Top 10 Beyond the Screen, my name is Johnny Rogers saying until next time, stay classy. Have a hit and run. Uh, video's long enough, don't need to make it longer. Pow! Burn! She should start a business, Shares Chairs. Come on down to Shares Chairs. I'm Cher, let's get you a chair. I mean, look. Oh, that's me. I mean, look. <laughs> Sounds like the start of a dopest verse ever. The new just huge. After, I just picture Donald Trump being like, the nudge is huge right now. You don't even know. The nudge is huge. Mark says, I basically, Mark says, I, What's going on movie lovers and welcome to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host Johnny Rogers and if you happen to be new here we cover everything from television and movies to celebrities and influencers so just tap that subscribe button to join our notification squad and make sure you stay all the way until the end because you won't believe our number one spot. Now without any further delay let's get right into our list of the top 10 craziest celebrity Twitter meltdowns part 3. I hope you have your popcorn ready because the countdown starts now.
In at number 10, Nicki Minaj. Let's start this point off by reading the tweet itself. I put my blood, sweat, and tears in writing a dope album only for Travis Scott to have Kylie Jenner post a tour pass telling people to come see her and Stormy. I'm actually laughing, hashtag queen. Broke the record of being number one in 86 countries. Thank Jesus and thank you to my fans. Essentially, Nicki Minaj was blaming everyone for her record not doing well while also saying how well it did. Kind of like a female Donald Trump. After saying that the only reason Travis Scott could sell tickets was because of Kylie, she also took shots at Spotify and Drake for conspiring against her. A little over 15 minutes later, she tweets this. Spotify put Drake's face on every playlist but told me they'd have to teach me a lesson for playing my music 10 minutes earlier on Queen Radio. Even though they've been giving away my music for free for years and I am one of the top Spotify artists of all time. Sure you are. In at number 9, Lindsay Lohan. Who would have thought that Lindsay Lohan could bring together the United Kingdom through Twitter? Oh yeah, no one. No one thought that ever. However, kudos to her for trying. She tweets, I love the Shetlands, BBC News, thank goodness we have pure-hearted people on our side. Then about an hour later, she tweets out, workplace fatalities in the UK have reduced by half since European safety directives were introduced in 1996. Then came the tweet that made the entire UK laugh as a collective. Lohan tweeted, hashtag remain. Sorry, but Kettering, where are you and why is this woman at BBC News speaking on people rather than telling us what happens if UK leaves? Yes, that is an American actor, Lindsay Lohan, spouting off about another country's politics for which she knows nothing about. Great work, Lohan. Great work. I'm sure they were all waiting on your hot takes before making a decision. In at number eight, Heidi Montag. All right, let's begin with the meltdown, shall we? In 2010, The Hill star Heidi Montag tweeted, P.S. I have no friends. The ones who are pretending to be friends or family are crazy, angry, broke, and bitter. This is why they haven't been in my life for years. Liars. All caps. So you know she's being serious. For those of you who don't know, Heidi suddenly got a ton of plastic surgeries that drastically altered her appearance. Before this tweet, she had already been going off about her recent decisions, mainly because a lot of other castmates from the hills and even her family started to kind of distance themselves from her, which prompted this series of meltdown level tweets. She also would go on about how her family is trying to make money off of her, which only further isolated Montag from her friends and family. Kind of, you did it to yourself. In at number seven, Adam Richman. Adam was once the host of Travel Network's Man Vs. Food, although after his social media meltdown in 2014, he was replaced by the network real quick. It first started on Instagram when Adam posted about his recent weight loss saying, had ordered this suit from Seville Row Taylor over a year ago, think I'm gonna need to take it in a little, and then he uses the hashtag Thinspiration to cap it all off. What Adam was unaware of was how mad his followers were about to get from just seeing him use that hashtag. People went in on him and berated the TV host for not knowing that the hashtag was being used by many to promote anorexia and unhealthy eating habits. Adam though could have been much more chill in his response, but instead he just hit back 10 times harder. He began calling his own fans a number of expletives and then even going as far as personally DMing his haters on Twitter just to take it a step further. In at number six, Victoria Jackson. When Obama had won re-election, conservatives around America were devastated. Actually, devastated maybe taking it too lightly. They full on had meltdowns online. Victoria Jackson was one of those Republicans that did not care for the result and so the SNL alumni began this Twitter tirade. She tweets, thanks a lot Christians for not showing up. You disgust me. Then she says, the Democrat party voted God out and replaced him with Romans 1. In the good versus evil battle, today, evil won. Okay, crazy pants. She went on like that for a few more tweets with even more strange ones saying, America died and that she can't stop crying. Needless to say, she was mercilessly mocked for these tweets and ended up being kind of wrong. In at number five, Jabbar Gaffney. Upon seeing these bizarre series of tweets from Washington Redskins wide receiver Jabbar Gaffney, even the Washington Post described it as a Twitter meltdown. I'm not even going to read them all out because they are definitely not safe for work. But let's just say he used a ton of foul language to get his points across. What happened was that Gaffney was going through a divorce and we only really knew that because he made it all public. Like, all of it. He tweeted about waking up on the day of his anniversary and not being able to find his soon-to-be ex-wife anywhere. He followed that up by saying he can't wait for the divorce to be finalized. He also must have been getting angry with the replies to those tweets because everything after that was about how he was now going to steal your girl and that if you see him, you should tell him what you were going to say to him in the comments to his face, which by the way, do not do that. If you see this guy, do not approach. In at number four, 50 Cent. 50 is without a doubt a rap megastar and business mogul. 
although that doesn't necessarily mean that everything he tweets out will be just as good. The diamond selling rapper has had many Twitter meltdowns in the past. The first most notable one though was in 2010. He tweets, okay, I'm in the studio and I think I just smoked crack and I'm crying because I'm not gonna stop. Can anyone help me? LOL. Um. All right then, that's one way to deal with a drug problem. Two years later, he was using Twitter to just question his time on Earth and really frighten his fans. He starts his meltdown by saying, I have lost all of the faith in the team I'm on. I have nothing left to say. I will not be promoting my music. He would then take it even further saying, I'll be honest, I don't think I'm gonna live much longer. That's why I started my Street King movement. Eight years later and he's doing just fine. If anything, he was using the threat of ending his life to get his music promoted, which is, if that's the case, that's really gross, 50. In at number three, Tyrese. Now, although this mainly took place on Instagram and Instagram Live, I had to include it in the list because this meltdown was just heartbreaking to watch. Tyrese had found himself in the middle of a brutal custody battle with his ex-wife over their 10-year-old daughter. He took to social media, though, to share all of this. He admitted that Will Smith gave him $5 million to pay for his legal fees that Will Smith would later deny, and then his meltdown started to take a wrong turn. For whatever reason, he zeroed in on Dwayne The Rock Johnson and criticized him for ignoring his text messages. In his post, he said, if you move forward with that Hobbs movie, you will have purposely ignored the heart to heart moment we had in my sprinter. I don't want to hear from you until you remember what we talked about. I'm on your timeline because you're not responding to my text messages. Fast family is just that, a family. We don't fly solo. So clearly he was upset that The Rock wouldn't text him back, but getting mad that you weren't included in his movie is kind of selfish, dude. In at number two, Jose Canseco. Unfortunately for this one, the tweets themselves are no longer available and for good reason. The disgraced roid raging former baseball player is often pretty wild on Twitter, but while ranting about his ex-wife, he went way too far. After not liking some of the comments that his ex said to him over a phone call, Jose went on an all day celebrity Twitter meltdown. Not only did he tweet out her phone number, but he tweeted openly about her favorite narcotic and tips on how to get her in the sack. All of those tweets were taken down the following day, but it was far too late for Jose Canseco. That was enough to not only do in whatever career he had, but essentially his entire reputation, which suffice it to say, wasn't the best to begin with. Last but not least in our number one spot, Lady Gaga. In 2013, Lady Gaga was sick and tired of what the press was saying about her, but the way she handled it was a little too cringy. In an attempt to own what her critics were saying about her, Gaga tweeted the following tirade. She begins with, Lady Gaga is fat now, then adds the hashtag, do what you want with my body, which coincidentally is a song of hers. Hmm. That would have been a perfect if she had to just come full stop right there, but she just kept going on and on and on with several more tweets and language far beyond what her fans ever expected. And that has been the Top 10 Craziest Celebrity Twitter Meltdowns Part 3. Thank you for watching and thank you to our editors for making me look so good. If you enjoyed this video, show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on this list. And for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is tap that playlist when it pops up on the screen. From Top 10 Beyond the Screen, my name is Johnny Rogers saying until next time, stay safe out there.